Sir Tom Windsor is reported in the Times. He was the former Chief Inspector of Constabulary, and he's defended the police who uh, talked to Gideon Falter. And he says that, yes, it was somewhat clumsy, uh, referring to Gideon Falter as openly Jewish, but that it was the police's duty to block him from crossing the road, uh, to, from crossing through an angry rally to prevent a public disorder uh, in the same way as the police would keep football fans apart. But the uh, a, a, a road is a public thoroughfare and uh, the fact that there's a march going down the road is neither here nor there. Now, that's point one. Point two, and far more importantly, uh, and far more importantly than... Uh, Windsor talking about the the question about uh, Gideon being openly Jewish. That conversation, I thought, was conducted by the officer in question with commendable courtesy and consideration. What the police were trying to do was to keep this man safe. No, I think keeping somebody safe does not involve threatening to arrest them. And I think that's the point. That, that, that language uh, used by uh, this uh, former police inspector... Uh, Tom Windsor, is the sort of language from uh, George Orwell. This is doublespeak. We want to keep you safe. You will be arrested if you don't do what we say. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is not diligent and conscientiously doing their work. This is intimidating and bullying. And this is making up rules on the hoof. This is not, th this is not proper policing. And to defend it, and not to mention the fact that Gideon was threatened with arrest. The, the, key to this, the key to this encounter is the threat to be arrested. Not, 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 not the fact that the policeman was crass in his uh, description of Gideon as openly Jewish. The, a, a, a fact that I imagine Gideon probably would be rather proud to say. But uh, the, um, the, 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 the real issue was that he was threatened with arrest if he didn't comply and if he didn't leave the area. It wasn't even a matter of him crossing the road. It was a matter of him leaving the area and if he didn't leave the area, he would be arrested. And that's bully boy tactics. That's not conducting um, uh, policing like a football match. That's not uh, conducting police, uh, policing with uh, equality. That's simply bully boy tactics. And the police, uh, the, the policeman in charge was wrong. And for the uh, for anybody who wishes to defend him, uh, they, they they are wrong too. It's very simple. Either there is a rule that if there's a march uh, in a street, then everybody needs to be, everybody needs to lock their windows, close their doors, and get out the street. Or people have access to that street. Unless they, are, uh, un un unless they are in some sort of counter-protest mode. And even there, there have been counter-protests in the past. The, the laws surrounding a protest, the, uh, the, the, the new laws put out by the Home Secretary, uh, are extraordinarily perverse. And this is part of the result of that. It gives p the police a very strange sense of authority which comes across as bullying. The police may be uh, obeying some sort of letter of the law here, but it is wrong and it needs changing.